Who are you? I don't know, but I'm writing to you anyway. Where are you? How far in the future? Where'd you find my journal? I may never know, but you can know me from what I put down on these pages. I come from a little village in the mountains. No one has left here since before I was born. But our lives changed overnight, just a few days ago when my best friend had a prophetic dream. A vision that the Elder said means this season is going to end soon. The world is about to enter a new era. A great change is coming. Everyone was afraid. I was surrounded by questions and I began to feel how little I know. What is this season that is about to end? And why is it ending? What exactly is out there that could turn the world inside out? If there are still voices singing and laughing in the wilderness, I could record them before they're gone. I also thought of my dad, who always wanted to see the outside world but never did. So, I asked if I could leave. The elder had one condition for letting me go, that I take what I collect to the museum vault, a palace of art and memory at the edge of the earth. She says it's the only place safe from the turmoil of a changing season. I hope that's where you're reading this now. I can't stop the change that is coming, but this time on Earth could live on in these pages. What it looks like, sounds like, how it feels to be alive right now. I'm writing to you at the crack of dawn on the morning I leave home. I can smell breakfast cooking in the other room, and I can hear my mom's voice.
my bag and dad's camera, ready for the great departure. You're up. It's gonna be a beautiful morning. I'm making progress. I found the burner, camera, recorder, travel bag. Breakfast is in progress. Still gotta make a pendant. We haven't used this in so long. Good thing I saved the instructions. Just as you would use a shield to protect your body. An identity pendant protects your mind. Your thoughts, we don't wear them here in the village anymore. But if you're going into the outside world, I'll feel better when you've got a pendant shield in you. Diseases of the mind, like the dream sickness. We don't know what caused it. We heard people suddenly fell into an eternal sleep. These were years of wild rumors, and half of them turned out to be true. In times of war, a pendant can be used to identify a body. Let's skip that part. Objects have two layers, the physical and the mental. Pendant needs to absorb both. One, collect a sentimental object for each sense. Sound, smell, feel, sight, taste. Two, feel the sense and speak aloud a memory of the object. Three, feed the object into the burner. The memory will leave the speaker as it is transferred to the pen. That means I'll forget it's supposed to be painless, at least. No, you must remember everything. That's your role. Okay, so. This old tape should work for our sense of sound. I remember. You and I fell asleep listening to this tape. Your dad came home. We all rested together until it got dark. feeling like an absence just the empty space fills itself back in until I forget that <sighs> I'm glad I'm only losing a few if I lost too many I wouldn't even know who you are you should pick the rest of the objects I lose the memories but you'll have them in a pendant for So they should be important to you. They should be parts of your identity you want to be sure to protect. So think about what the... Let's do smell next. Find an object with a strong odor and that holds a piece of you. Childhood. Too sweet, too old. I always wanted to experience new things.
nothing. I used to see souls everywhere. Sweet wax honey. How I've tried to save things. Honey, wax, baby, waves. I was loved by people I have no memory of. Granite, seaside, darkness. This speaks to how my mom loves me. What did you choose for smell? Let's breathe in deep. Oh, I remember it so well. It's not as bad now, but in the old days, but many believed if a child could make it be all right. This print was made of your hand when you turned nine. Your father and I couldn't believe we really had a healthy girl. An old deep fear inside of me finally went away. And we saw you would just keep growing, that everything was going to be okay. Now touch. Pick something with the texture you like. Waxy, papery, chewable. How I've tried to save things. So what did you end up choosing? Okay, feel the candy. I remember. These were a present from your friend Pate. It was such a special gift that you wouldn't eat a single one. But after a while, the candy became the candy was meant to give one moment of sh. And you realized, we talked about this, that by trying to save them, they lost their purpose. It might have been better to just enjoy them in the moment. I'm fine. Let's do sight. Pick something that... that looks nice. 